Hey everyone, hope you're having a good weekend. Um, the uh, project we're doing today for this week is the Combine project. It's uh, kind of like it sounds. It's a combination of a lot of the different um, topics we've explored and modes of making work uh, over the past month or so. Um, so, you know, be sure to kind of highlight those design elements, principles, and uh, especially the uh, brainstorming uh, process, the creative process that we went over. Uh, so you can do that by making sketches. Uh, you know, you can do like it, it's a couple nine by 12 inch kind of rough drafts. If you just wanna, I, I used some of my leftover shapes here. Um, my square and circle, my triangle, you can combine those in a lot of different ways that you weren't doing previously, some more unpredictable ways. You can um, uh, do that, that's a good way. Uh, you can draw on an iPad maybe if you have something like that. You can arrange them on either Photoshop or any other design software to kind of get some ideas going. Um, you know, I would, I would suggest doing a little bit of that before you jump right into your final. Um, although this one is a little more free flow because um, there's not as many restrictions in terms of uh, just using diagonals or uh, curved lines or things like that. It's a combination of a lot, but just because there is a lot of freedom, uh, I would suggest still getting a, a rough idea of what you're going to do. Uh, before you start your final 9 by 12 inch one. So just as the other ones go, 9 by 12 inches with a 1 inch border, um, vertical or uh, horizontal. Uh, so the tools here that we're going to use are pretty much all the same pens, uh, light pencil um, for outlining shapes, and uh, of course, you know, erasing the leftover pencil in there when you're done. Uh, a compass is good, so you can draw sort of uh, curved lines, uh, which is kind of a new element we can use. Um, there's only a pencil on here, uh, so a good way to do that might also be just using kind of household objects, like your tape, like anything that's kind of a curve that you can uh, you know, make a, a clean uh, curved line out of would be cool. Um, you you want to make sure that you're still getting in that really good craft element with these. Um, so you still want all your lines to be pretty even, uh, pretty geometric. Um, there are some areas, as you can see here, where I'm kind of circling, where you can uh, shade with your pens, um, although don't make it like a messy sort of shading. Um, if you want to do that, you have to kind of fill it in so it looks like almost like a solid form, as you can see. Um, if it looks kind of scrappy like that, that's kind of going to take away from your uh, craft grade. So if you do that, make sure that it's, it's pretty um, pretty flat as you can see here and it does take time to do with the micron pen so if you have a sharpie that may work although um, some of the sharpies come out almost like a bluish kind of shade like a dark I mean it, it's not blue but it's like a blackish blue and it can kind of throw off these real kind of crisp black and white areas so if you have the right type of sharpie that's like black just make sure you um, are comparing the two and making sure they'll mesh well together. Because if you have like these darkish blue areas and then black, it's going to look a little off. So, uh, yeah, you can, bottom line is you can combine all your elements. You can use this template here that comes with your kit. Um, of course, the triangle of, that is always good to draw your, your lines. Remember, um, you can use a combination of all those dashed lines, uh, thick and thin, right? So 
all the things that we've been kind of doing the past uh, month or so are all getting thrown into this um, in a lot of different ways. So um, yeah, you, I think this one is definitely one of the most aesthetically kind of portfolio pleasing piece. If any of you are working, I'm sure a lot of, some of you are definitely working towards putting a portfolio together. And this can be a really solid um, design piece for any uh, transfer credits or things like that. So you really want to focus on making this one as best as you can. And it's almost like a um, summative uh, assignment for this whole unit of um, shapes and pen. So that's about it for this one. Um, check out the next video below for a little um, uh, lecture on a, a contemporary artist who uses similar elements like this. And please make sure to create um, clear, take clear photos. You guys have been doing pretty well with those I've seen, but just continue to have even lighting, uh, clear photography when you upload, uh, because that can, you know, give me the best idea of, of your projects. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, good luck. And I'll see some of you for check-ins if you need help remember. So take care and see you soon.